My name is Mariah Morn and I'm a Vegetable Industry Development Officer for NT Farmers working on the VegNet project. Here today we're at Manton Dam in the Northern Territory on a vegetable farm where NT Farmers as part of the VegNet project has been trialling a simple drip and drain hydroponic system in order to grow Lebanese cucumber. So what are hydroponics? Hydroponics is essentially growing plants outside of soil in another medium. So for our trial we use Coco Coya bags, which is essentially made out of the husk of a coconut. Growers may choose to use a medium that is not soil, firstly to minimise the disease issues that they have in soil and secondly to have greater control over their growing environment. Coco Coya, for example, it's known for its ability to hold water and nutrients really well. And the aim of that is to essentially be using less water and importantly less fertiliser in your system, being more efficient. So you might be wondering, what does a simple hydroponic system look like in the Northern Territory? Here I can take you through the drip and drain hydroponic system that we have here today. So tanks can vary in size and in price. Here we have two very simple 44 gallon drums that we had on the farm and we're using them as an A and a B tank. With hydroponics you always have two tanks because some fertilisers don't mix well together. So if with our A tank we've got our calcium nitrate and with our B tank we've got our NPK, our sulphur, our magnesium and any other trace elements. So we've put our fertiliser in both tanks at a rate that is recommended by our agronomist. Because the fertiliser is in the tanks for an extended period of time, it does require some agitation to make sure it's even throughout the tank. Larger tanks that are more expensive will often come with an agitator inside. For this very simple system, what we decided to get was an air pump and an air stone. Essentially what this air stone does is blow bubbles in the water, keeping that fertiliser agitated. Different from a conventional system, hydroponics means they were actually uptaking a certain amount of nutrients into the water for every single watering. This is done through dosage pumps. Dosage pumps will uptake the fertiliser at a set percentage into the stream. So these two dosage pumps are really simple. They actually don't require any electricity and they work on pressure. So as soon as the water starts pumping through here, it will trigger the pumps to start uptaking nutrients into your system to go out into your Coco Coya bags. So here we have our timer and our solenoid. The timer allows you to set the watering to turn on at certain times of the day and for certain durations. Once the timer sets off, it allows the tap to open essentially to allow water to get to your plants. So the water is provided to the plants and into the cocoa bags through these drippers that are placed directly into the cocoa coir bags. The cocoa coir bags do require drainage. Some bags will already come with holes in the bottom and some may need cutting themselves. Another thing we want to control in the growing area is weeds. Weeds are a great environment for pests and diseases. And a simple way that we can minimise the weeds on the ground is through a simple floor matting system that we have here today. Another thing about the growing area that you want to consider is making sure that your bags are raised off the ground. In many systems, you may see the bags at knee height on say a bench this system we've gone as simple as possible with what we have already on the farm and we've used seedling trays. When you're ready to seed you can either seed into Coco Coya bag or via seedling. Coco Coya bags can't be used over and over and they do need to be replaced. We're replacing them after two plantings and this is to minimise disease. So when you're pulling out your plant from the Coco Coya bag at the end of the growing and harvesting cycle, some of the plant matter and roots are going to stay in the bag and that can be a source for disease. If you do find that you have disease in your bag, say Fusarium, what we recommend is that you take out the bags with the infected plants and you replace them as well as disinfecting the lines. This is a lot more simple than dealing with, say, something like Fusarium out in the paddock in soil. My name is Vin. I live in uh, Manton Dam. 
I've been uh, doing farm maybe two years now and with the anti-farm uh, child, nearly a year. So now I just change all my cucumber to yield the uh, hydroponic. I like hydroponic because less fertilizer, less water, less work for me. It's been really good, it looks very healthy. If you are looking at getting into hydroponics, Firstly, we really recommend that you look at the market and ensuring that what you're going to grow is going to provide you with a premium price. If you have any queries, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me.